Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in again here at the Bethlehem Kerk in the north of Amsterdam. I'm so happy to be back. This is, uh, I don't know, my 10th or 11th, I almost can't keep track. But it's uh, really uh, just like a second home to be here and to be here through all the quarantine. It's an amazing initiative that they're doing, bringing live music uh, to the world um, for the, some of the best Dutch musicians. And um, we have actually quite a few from all over. We have um, Irina Jippenberg from Amsterdam. We have John Reisdijk, also from the Hague area. Um, and Wati Rosenberg from the south of Holland. So uh, we're really happy to be here. They play all the time together. We've played a bunch together. But as, of, as a group of four, it's our first time. So we're really <laughs> excited to, uh, to have this opportunity to uh, play for you. So without further ado, We'll start with the minor swing by Django Reinhardt.
Thanks so much. That was Minor Swing by Django Reinhardt. And Grappelli, Stefan Grappelli, who was also a um, founder, uh, let's say one of the, um, one of the uh, most renowned jazz musicians from Europe at the time, um, Stefan Grappelli was an incredible violinist, and um, they played a lot together. And um, we'll continue with a song that actually is kind of a jazz standard by Billy Strayhorn, written in 1939, Take the A Train. And uh, actually it refers to a song which, uh, well, it was, it was written when the A Train in... Oh yeah, we changed Oh, to sorry. So. We can do A train perfectly, but we will do croquette. Okay, we do croquette. <laughs> croquette. croquette.
to say something. So the next song I will be singing, uh, I'm confessing that I love you, which is always a good thing to do. Make somebody happy. So let's hope everybody's happy to tell, have me tell you that I love you. I'm confessing that I love you. Tell me, do you love me too? I'm confessing that I need you. Honest, I do. I need you every moment. In your eyes, I see such strange things. But your lips deny their truth. Your answer really changed things, making me blue. I'm afraid someday you will leave me, saying, Can we just be friends? If you go, you know you'll grieve me, cause all my life on you depends. Am I guessing that you love me? of you in vain I'm confessing that I love you over and over again
I'm confessing that I need you Honest I do I need you every moment In your eyes I see such strange things But your lips deny they're true Will your answer that you love me dreaming dreams of you in vain I'm confessing that I love you I'm confessing that I love you yes I'm confessing that I love you over and over again and again <laughs> Now he knows I love him. <laughs> <laughs> so who are you speaking to? I don't know. I, have, I still have to work that out. <laughs> All of you. Uh, yeah. we, we always say we love our audience when we go on stage, right? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> All of you. I actually already said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we meant. Yeah. So, okay, so next we're going to play um, Honeysuckle Rose. Oh, yes. Yes. So it's a Fats Waller tune, um, which I believe there's some. Uh, yeah, it was written for an off-Broadway show called Load of Coal. And actually, it was written for um, soft shoe dancing, which is kind of like tap dancing, but without the actual tapping. <laughs> so, uh, but it's a real famous song. If you don't know the name, you'll definitely recognize it. Honeysuckle Rose. Thank you. 
the next one? Chavo. Long Chavo. So the next one, I'm not sure, you know, I'm always in gypsy jazz circles, so I don't know who's watching, and maybe you're not at all familiar with gypsy jazz, and I need to explain a little bit. The next tune is a real traditional Sinti song in the Sinti language, in Romanes. It's called Chavo, which means friend or man or guy. And so one guy is asking his friend, have you seen where my loved one has gone? Because she left me and I really don't know why. But if she knew how hard life is without her, for me, if she knew how sad I am, she would certainly come back. So think about that. Thank you. 
Irene Ippenberg. <laughs> Perfect. Um, next, we're going to play Basso Dorado. And um, it doesn't have anything to do with the fish. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, guy who wrote it was named Dorado Schmidt. And he wrote music to progress himself on, um, technically and harmonically. And so this song is... Uh, just that, it really allows uh, performers to really uh, expand and uh, uh, show their virtuosity. And this would be a perfect one for John to feature. So actually, um, keep an ear out for the guitarist on my right. It's John Reisdijk. <laughs> Thank you. 
so strange to play without any <laughs> any people, but um, we uh, we can hear you still. <laughs> imagination, but uh, so that was John Reisdijk, um, and now I guess are we going to play a little duet? Duet together. What are we going to play? Uh, we're going to play. I've got the world on a string, and I think it's really scary. So be nice to us. Oh, you don't need to walk away. Stay with me, please. Oh my God, really? Don't take a sip. Just look at me. That's good. I like that better. It's a little bit of a bend. I've got the world on a string. I just start, okay? a beautiful thing as long as I hold that string I'd feel a silly so and so if I would ever let go I got the world on a string sitting on a rainbow I got a string around my finger what a world what a life what a world what a life, what a world, what a life, I'm in love. <laughs> should I say? I should apparently say something. <laughs> so, I've been telling you all the time how much I love you, so Thank we hope you love us back. <laughs> We hope you love us back. So that was, uh, I've got the world on a string. I have mm. no idea what the next song is because Nikki is the boss. The next song is Django Stag. Django Stag. This is another Django Reinhardt, Stefan Grappelli song called Dan uh, Dang Dangerous Tiger. <laughs> Django's Tiger. <laughs> also dangerous. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> John Gotti. <laughs> Marty Rosenberg, John Reisdijk. Nikki, always. <laughs> um, okay, so how are we doing? We've got a few more songs. We've got all of me on the list. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very often played song, but it's still... I very much like to play it, and uh, <laughs> I think everybody will, will recognize all of me.
Great. So, are we ready for Yosef Yosef? Of course, we're always ready for Yosef Yosef. <laughs> but this will be your first one, so. Yeah, so that was just a warm-up, actually. Um, <clears throat> so, this is, I guess, a traditional... Kind of a Jewish song. Jewish song. Yeah. But... Um, it's a Jewish mother, shall I say it? Yes, yeah, sure. It's a Jewish mother who thinks that it's time for her son to get married. So she's telling him, now, finally, find a woman and get married already. So that's it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah we take just a saying that we're, <laughs> we're not in shape to, uh, to be uh, <laughs> performing after th two and a half months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, we are going to probably cool it down with a bolero. Oh my God, bolero. True Blanc Bolero, which I believe is French for messed up. Something like that, yeah. Must be. Which means the messed up bolero. I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> By Django thing. Reinhardt. Um, but uh, it sounds, in a way, perfectly uh, unperfect. <laughs>
So I guess we're going to end this concert with um, a song. Well, let's see. Do you want to play one or two more? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't know. Let's do two. Let's okay, do why two. not? <laughs> so for our first encore, <laughs> we're going to play Django's Castle. Oh, yeah. Django's yeah. Castle. yeah. Also a Django Reinhardt song. And... Um, We'll save the, the hot one for later.
I guess we'll play one last song. It's a quite up-tempo one called Sheik of Araby. And I read actually that um, uh, it was almost entitled Rose of Araby. Yeah. yeah, he was encouraged by, I think, a publisher or something <laughs> <laughs> that it would be more accessible. But the Sheik of Araby, which has become covered by many artists, I think even the Beatles did a version. Um, but, um, yeah, I guess it's good luck. It's a very it's, masculine song. Yes, it's a chic because it's a very masculine song, as she said. <laughs> you know, he he's says he's, he's going to enter the tent of this woman. So I, I said that because the chic is saying he's going to enter the tent of this woman that he obviously fell in love with and that uh, she has nothing to say. He's, she's his. So that's what I meant. So, so thank you all again for listening. Um, if I don't have the chance to introduce everybody, this is Irene Ippenberg, <laughs> John Reisdijk on guitar, and uh, um, Wati Rosenberg. What is Wati short for, Wati? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. So, I think it's <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>